Welcome back. Thursday afternoon. Heading to the dump. I don't know if you guys noticed there. The left blinker is fixed. <laughs> was able to get that fixed now. We got uh, nice warm weather. Plastic's not so cold and brittle. Nothing broke, which is nice. I think after we replace the tail light. Even though it's already pretty broke. It's all cracked on the lens. So it gets moisture in and the bulbs blow. A new mount for the camera here in the truck. I don't imagine it's much more sturdy, especially on these winter roads. They're pretty rough and bumpy. Yeah, it looks like it shakes pretty good. <laughs> I put my finger on the camera there. It looks like it gets a little sturdier. Yeah, take a run to the dump. See what kind of goodies we can find. Take back with us. Hopefully there's good stuff after the holidays. People getting rid of old for the new. Uh, you guys have all seen the road enough. We'll either speed this up or we'll just see you at the dump. For the county always comes here with his trailer and he's always pulling good stuff out. There's a nice trailer there. Let's we'll see if the boys are here. Oh okay, alrighty. Thanks a lot. Yeah, don't even need to show my card today. We'll be back with you in a moment here. Beautiful day. They're kind of good as he rummaged up. Don't really look like too, too much. So we'll get out and we'll have a look. So enjoy the show.
Alright. Yamaha stereo amp. Maybe it still works. Old school, their best. The Swiffer thing sounds like it might still work. Not sure what this other thing is. And a vacuum and there's a smashed up TV in there still had the main <coughs> power board so there's a bit of things Got a frozen yogurt ice cream maker. That would be sweet if that works. It's nice and clean too.
There's another set of my favorite golf clubs in the bin right beside the truck here. Yeah, I got a nice set of golf clubs too. I dig them out of this bin beside the truck. Just about went in. And broke my hook, the handle on my dumpster hook. So I have to fix that when I get home. I know it's not my normal kind of video. When I come here, I usually have the camera on me, but. Uh, My POV cam mount also broke on me, so yeah. Yeah. cardboard boxes in the burn pile. We'll go check the steel bin. And kind of hard to pull things out though now that my hook thing just broke but let's see what we can see Computer's still there. It's a wire. There's not really a good way to get down here. I mean, those make a good ladder, those things, but uh, there's quite a few people here. They don't always like you getting down here when there's a bunch of people at the dump. But uh, maybe I come back on Saturday in the evening when we're at the end. Looks like there's some motor parts. There'd be some good stuff to get, but a lot of this stuff's always nice to look at. It's, I'm gonna say it's kind of hard to always get at. Oh, where's that nice thick? Man, I just love to jump down there. Fat my big cutters, like I say, less people around. Anyway, probably gonna Wrap this up till I get home. Take the take everything out of the truck. We can go through it there, and uh, 
probably do a scrap down video or something this afternoon. Sorry, a little shaky as <clears throat> I was holding the phone here. But yeah, so we'll see you back at home. Cheers. <laughs> it's always such a cluster here. I was leaving, I just thought I'd jump back. These guys are just like waving their hands up. Not the dudes are working it, but people in the vehicles here. You're in my way. You're in my way. Somebody just go their own way. <laughs> Hear it out. Yeah, just a quick jump back in. I thought that was funny. See you back at home. Cheers. Yeah, I'll go check out the boat launch, baby. Sometimes people throw their cans and bottles just in the actual garbage cans. There is a brown bin for garbage, blue bins for cans down there. But it's amazing how many people just throw the cans in the brown garbage bin instead of the recycling. We'll go see if if there's anything. Sign gives me a thumbs up. He approves of this video. It's a trailer. I need me a nice little flat deck trailer with some sides. That's on the plan for this year. Hopefully. Person be able to double up on a trip. Double the money. See that tells me that there'd be more cans in the brown bin if there is gonna be any than the blue bin because the blue bin's top is all covered in snow and the brown bin's not just can't really see that but we'll have a gander quick here Brown one's been emptied, and that blue one's froze shut. This is my side of the lake. Obviously, we are close to home. A couple guys out there ice fishing. out over here <laughs> over to my left there's a shack set up out there too let's go turn around here I ain't fishing today so I don't need to be out on the ice I just get a little nervous driving out. Right out. Let's see, oh, oh. Try to point, oh, you can probably see it there. <laughs> He's a ways out there.
That is like the sweetest house on this lake. They have that hole right out in front of their place, the lakeside. It's like their own little cove in there. Just on the other side of these bushes. That house, oh, I'd love to have that place. A nice big shop. And for being lakeside, it's actually fairly calm over here. You don't get a lot of the wind. Like at the boat launch there in town, close to me, it's so windy there. You wouldn't want to live there. When the ice comes off the lake, it does a lot of damage to the people on that side of the lake. They're lakefront houses. But over here, you don't get that because the ice pushes the opposite direction from us. They're on the west side of the lake, so it generally heads east, northeast. Now, yeah, just to the east end of the lake. <laughs> There we go. There's a little garbage can right here too. People throw cans in all the time. Pull up and see what's in there. I can see an oil jug. That's so good to me. No cans, but we'll pick up the garbage. Yeah. Leave it better than we found it. Backed up by in front of the shop here. Unload some of the stuff. Right, let's get it out of the truck. There's a be a shark vacuum here. I'll set it down in the garage here. The shark. Allergen complete seal. Yeah, right. Well, it's one of those like, twisty things, but the back's all broke. And it actually had the cord on it, which is amazing for a pickup at the dump. <laughs> People are generally pretty fast to the cords on everything. It's be a little loud. This set, uh, it was kind of just out of view. Went to uh, Golf clubs I picked up, grabbed them out of the bin, and just about went uh, head over tea kettle. <laughs> Trying to get them out, and I broke my dumpster stick. Treasures in here. So, 
It's like maybe, um, what do you call that? Those uh, little plastic beads. Airsoft, maybe. <laughs> Shotgun. Yeah, just because I thought it was kind of cool. Oh, popcorn. Pop, pop, popcorn pumper. <laughs> Some jar lids. Oh, sure, this is a bag here. Sure, the these little. Not the best there. But there's a. Not even sure what we got here. Medronic. Oh, this is one of those like uh, electric tensing <laughs> machines. You pick it up and put it on your muscles and it shoots little electric shocks. Power supply. <laughs> Nifty. Kettle. Nice uh, three prong plug, so a little more copper in there. But, um, well, we'll plug it in, see if it still works. What else is in there? Oh, jar lid. And I forgot to throw some cookie cases away, apparently. This, uh, not even sure. On the tailgate here, Monvino Mini Jet filter for wine. Huh. Interesting. I probably have some good stuff back in behind here. It's got the nice three prong cord. Be some brass. There's three uh, strands of sixty percent. If we strip that outer casing down. The Swiffer Power Vac. I come across another one of these in the summertime. That bad boy there. But uh, big thing with them is they got like a rechargeable battery. And uh, I think I left the other one on charging. I don't know for good good long time. The light went out. Pushed the power button, and I think it worked for. I don't even know if I got a minute out of it, so probably the same with that one. The battery's probably just worn out. To grab these cir couple circuit boards, we're in a busted up TV there. The, the, ga the gauzing cable was actually like as big around as my thumb, but it was aluminum. You can see why somebody left it, but yeah, they just kind of tore the boards apart, left them laying there. Probably would have been the plugs to cut the cord off of it and I'll get the little transformers some bits of copper off there take the aluminum off and just this stereo here Yamaha natural sound AV receiver H, what is that a uh, HTR 5240 Cinema DSP Dolby Digital DTS? And when these work, they're awesome, way better than that. The new stereo stuff, in my mind, and I got some old uh, house speakers, so I'm gonna we'll try to get it hook it up and see if it works or not. Try not to drop it, getting out of the truck here. Or if we drop it, then it's just scrapping something to tear down for a video. A mess of Christmas lights I still got to put away. Yeah, I don't want to drop this amp. Oops. Upside down, but I'm good. Got to fix my snowblower. Tires, uh... The sidewall went in the tire on the, that side there, so it doesn't hold the air. And I got some tubes. I'm waiting actually now that the weather's a little nicer. I get the tubes put in, and then I don't have to shovel 
so much snow. Ooh, vacuum and the fan that I picked up. And those lights, fluorescent. Still got all the cords and the bulbs and whatnot in it. We'll put a little meander back here to the shed. Microwave, range uh, hood oven, heater, some some copper pipe, oven pictures, the vacuums, another microwave, broken AC unit that I found on the side of the road, and the sink. Yeah, this anyway, this will be the starting point. You can kind of see the snow's piled up, so you come off there on the sled, bank around that corner. There's a pile just behind that chair. I gotta move that chair and build up a little side so you can scoot down there off that pile. And then you kind of run up around the backside over that hill and wind up down around there, maybe here or something, come around the fire pit. It's like a little bob sled luge track. It's not real hilly, but you get going pretty good. This will be the first time kind of having a thing set up like this. Usually it's just off the normal grade of the hill, so I feel a lot better. Pile of bikes. An old CRT TV. And <laughs> I haven't looked in here much lately. TVs, TVs, computer towers. You guys have seen a bunch of this stuff. Huh. And it just goes all the way back. <laughs> the stuff in the bins along this side is more uh, like good storage stuff, but another TV. Or bench vice sitting back there. Yeah. <laughs> kind of forget about things sitting there you get busy doing other things right and then it's like oh this is why i haven't been over here <laughs> well, i left the door open on the truck oh so if you like the video today like the video comment down below Subscribe if you're not already for more content. I plan on dropping more content this year, uh, getting a little bit more comfortable with the camera. And uh, yeah, so cheers everyone. It was a great Thursday. I'm gonna possibly pick something out of the pile here to scrap down. So there will be something like that coming up soon as well. Until the next one, cheers.